Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have another 12x12 12 12 layout for you today. As I usually do, I started off by picking my photo and this time round I decided to scrap a photo of my lovely son. It was taken at Potato Point Beach. I had gone through my stash to, and I picked lots of bits and pieces that I thought might work. And the collection, well it's not really a collection, but the papers I chose are from Kaisercraft and they are from the, I believe they're from the Beach Shack collection. While I was going through my stash I found this scrap of paper, it's a, it was a nice brown colour so I thought that that would not make a nice matching for my photo. The main colour inspiration for this layout came from the photo, as you can see my son is wearing that beautiful colour blue jumper and then the background behind him is just all the rocks he's playing at the rocks at potato point so all those rocks are nice beige sort of sandy colour I absolutely loved this paper with the sort of sea in the background and then all the sky I just thought it was just so stunning and I thought it re it just made this photo pop so that's the paper I'm going for it's from Kaisercraft and it's from the Beach Shack collection and the actual paper is called Boardwalk. I had no idea what I was going to title this photo because it's of no particular occasion. It's just a photo of my son in winter at Potato Point Beach. So in my stash I found this beautiful chipboard from WOW and it said believe in the impossible. And I just thought what a perfect message to send to my son. I want him to have the confidence to believe in himself and to believe that anything is possible. So the next thing that caught my eye was this gorgeous paper, again from Kaisercraft from the Beach Shack collection, and it's called Sea Change. And what jumped into my head was to frame the photo with all these hexagons. But as you will see later on, that idea, even though I struggled with it for a while and I was forcing myself to try to make it work, it just does not come to fruition and I had to land up going in a different path. So this whole piece of beautiful paper was cut up for no reason because I just land up really demolishing the whole paper. It's really quite sad what I did to this piece of paper but it is what it is. I've sped all this up just to show showcase the fact that we all struggle with our layouts from time to time and sometimes our original ideas do not go as planned and we sometimes just have to give up on them and move on. And this is where I change my mind and think that paper, those hexagons aren't going to work. So I pull out this lovely blue paper as I've decided I'm going to pull in more of the blue that my son's wearing. But that doesn't work for me either and I decide no I'm going to use the other side of the sea change paper which has got this lovely rope pattern and that picks up on the rocks and stones behind him and I use that rope paper on the top part of the photo as my first matting and then I have no idea what I'm going to do so I saw this scrap piece of paper that I had of the lovely turtle and I went you know what I'm fussy cutting the turtle and I'll come back to my photo so I went through my stash and I saw this beautiful scrap piece of paper and there was not much left of it but it just really worked well with the colours in the photo so I landed up just cutting it in half and putting it on either side of my photo one up and one down and um, trying to make use of this lovely sea change paper the hexagons didn't work for me but the reverse side of it was this lovely rope paper so I thought well you know what I'm going to go with the rope and this is when things finally start working for me the photo wasn't popping for me, um, it just needed a something, so of course I'm going to do a bit of mixed media. And all I'm doing here is preparing my paper by adding some clear gesso. My motto at the moment seems to be, when in doubt, do the packaging technique. So that's what you see me doing here. It's the old famous packaging technique and I just used the Distress Oxide in the colour blue sketch and I added some... Oh, a bit of white that I had in a spray mist that was called chalkboard. I believe it was from Tattered Angels, but don't quote me on that. Time for some stenciling. And the stencil I'm using is from the Reject Shop. I believe that I showed it earlier. You just cut it out. Well, I cut mine out to the little piece that I want to use. And I am mixing two of these Nouveau paste. One is a 
really rich blue deep color and the other one was a more tealy color and when I mixed them together I got this lovely sort of stormy blue um, I don't know stormy blue color I don't know it was just perfect and just what this layout needed so I'm just doing the bit of stenciling and yeah I'm really happy with the outcome after all my struggles with that hexagon paper I'm so happy with the outcome and I really love how this layout came together in the end I've put everything aside to dry and now I'm working on the title so the title I decided I was going to make a nice deep rich navy blue color and for that I'm going to be using my ranger navy embossing ink and I did end up doing three coats uh, I don't I normally get away with one but for some reason on this layout it needed three and it just gave it this nice deep navy color I absolutely love it and it went so well with the layout can you believe I went through all my stash and I don't have any ephemera that relates to the beach theme so what do you do you make your own and originally I started off by doing the packaging technique and then I remembered hey I have a jelly plate that I've never used so out came my jelly plate for the very first time and all I did was I played around with different colored inks mainly different shades of blue and different shades of brown because to me those were the colors that I was trying to draw into my layout to the blues and the brownie colors and I tell you now I had so much fun with this jelly plate that you might see me play with it a little bit more and I just used a scrap piece of paper that I had pre gessoed and yeah I just kept alternating between brown inks blue inks cleaning out the jelly plate in between and I will add that in between each layer of color I did dry it with my heat gun so here is the paper so far I believe that's the wet look and you will soon see me dry it with the heat gun and loved the end result so what I'm doing here is I actually on my very dirty misty I've put in a whole bunch of stamps that I had they're all beach themes you know mainly this the seahorse and stars and all that and I fussy cut everything out I love those seahorses and they just are the perfect color so thank you jelly plate I found a new toy and here I am I'm using a Kaiser Crafts sticker sheet here and I believe it is from the Beach Shack collection but don't quote me on that I just had it in my stash and I pulled out this lovely little sticker it says oh what does it say the little beach it says beach time and then the top phrase that I'm putting up there says you can find me on the beach and the bottom one that I've just put down says my paradise and really my son loves the beach he loves going to visit his grandparents at potato point and yeah I think it is his paradise and his favorite place in the world at this point in time anyway so I'm not sure what I was going to do next the it needed a pop of something and all you see me doing is putting these little um, prima fima de, fina bear little they're like little stones but they're not stones if that makes any sense anyway they look like little stones and I just started off by originally my idea was I was just going to put it on that right hand corner and you will see that for some reason it takes a life of its own and then I just land up putting it all around the photo all the photos edge and it just really made everything pop I absolutely loved it but I didn't bore you with all those details so I'm just adding a few more of those little stones to just around the title just to balance things out a bit more and this layout is nearly done <clears throat> you will then see me bring out some sequins and there's the sequence I had this lovely sort of bluey it just needed a bit of sparkle around and I thought well you know when you look at the water it reflects and I thought that the sequence will help do that a bit and you know I, I like the result or I like the effect that the sequence had so just using some glue and a little pickup pencil that I just got from Wish yeah from Wish and yeah well it does the trick it picks up the sequence I put down a little bit of glue and down goes the sequence nothing hard about it 
So once that's all done, my layout is complete. Ah, oh, wow, what a layout. It took a lot of turns, but uh, in the end, I love the end result. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you're still with me. I know it was a bit of a long video for me, but um, yeah, I put a lot of work into this one. Absolutely love it and love that turtle. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already done so, I would love it if you would subscribe to my little channel. I am hoping to grow it and yeah, I need your support for that. So if you could please comment and like and not just for me, but for anybody that does YouTube videos. There's a lot of effort involved and, you know, just a little tick of your mouse or your finger, whatever you're using, really does help all the creators out there. And comments especially help to grow our little channels and, you know, a little bit of payback for all the work that we put in. But anyway, bye everyone and I will see you all soon. Bye.